and we are live. Welcome everyone to the interact. <laughs> I always mess this up. <laughs> the interactive English, which is a, a live lesson that I have with one of the members of the Achievers Chamber Discord group. Uh, it's essentially one of the students there, and this time it's none other than Damien. It's your second time appearing here, Damien. How have you been? I'm good. I'm good. I'm ready for our conversation. I do a diligent work and, you know, I have 10 pages of notes about chat GPT and stuff. Uh, hello, Zdenek. Nice to meet you again on this live and hello, everybody. We are, we are accepting all the comments. Absolutely. This is something I, I always have to mention. Thanks for reminding me. This is called the interact. English for a reason. That's because um, we would like the people listening to us live to get involved. You can answer the questions that I'm asking Damien. You can add your comments. Anything you want to say, feel free to say it. I reserve the right to put the comments on the screen that I like, though. So if somebody says something about us that is not nice, especially my guest, because I'm here to protect you, Damien, then I will censor that. Yeah. The comment won't be displayed. <laughs> there, there is a possibility of censorship here. Yeah, and, the, and the commentator is going to ban forever. Well, if it's if it's something really harmful, which does happen yeah, from time to time here on YouTube, then obviously we will have to deal with it. You'll have to be strict, and yeah. that's what's going to happen. But I'm sure this person uh, is safe. Hi, Helen. Thank you for saying hi to us. Hi, Helen. Um, I'm not so happy that you mentioned Damien first, but you know what? I'll get over it. <laughs> you, you, there is the same comment you did last time, Zdenek. <laughs> so maybe Helen should remember and you know to switch a, the names this time. Yeah, it's a running joke here, I guess. Um, I'm always nice. Don't ban me. Okay, no, don't worry, don't worry. We know you're always nice, Helen. And let's hope you live up to it here. So as Damien mentioned, uh, today we would like to talk about ChatGPT. We are going to answer the most important question that a lot of people around the world have been asking. What on earth is ChatGPT? I bet, yeah. I bet, Damien, there are a lot of people that still don't yeah. have a clue. Yeah, yeah, ex exactly. You know, I today I, I spoke, I talked to a couple of people and they didn't... They didn't hear about chat GPT. And I think, at least for me, and maybe I'm not immersed in this IT stuff, but it's a game changer. It's called like a, third, a fourth industrial revolution mm -hmm. nowadays, you know? So uh, I think it's important. And uh, maybe you should say it's, you know, we are going to answer the questions about chat GPT everybody was afraid to ask. That sounds like a clickbait what, title. What, what, yeah, wanted to ask, but was afraid. <laughs> yeah. no, that sounds like one of the clickbaits that ChatGPT yeah, exactly. itself would, would create for, for this yeah. life. <laughs> yes. exactly. So, Damien, I think we should first explain why. Why I decided to go for this topic um, when, 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 um, yeah. when having the lesson with you. Because usually uh, I sort of choose a topic based on my student's preference or let's say something that I know the student will be comfortable talking about because obviously this this is not easy you know this is not easy to be um, exposed to the world like this it's not your first language you know it's a great opportunity to practice but I always admire the people that come on and just do it because I think it is a great experience but it's not easy so why it's, why ChatGPT yeah, and Damien? What's the connection yeah. there? What's the connection? I, I do agree with you. I it's not easy to be exposed, and it's, there is always a little bit of you know un anxiety. But I think you chose this topic because I was thrilled and excited and very into ChatGPT. And my first encounter was three months ago, and you know there is still ongoing story. With ChatGPT, I you know and unveil different, you know, different ideas. And the ChatGPT actually 
uh, how to say, ChatGPT runs my like learning Spanish, English learning, and uh, and uh, exploring different ideas. To be honest, mm -hmm. and that's 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 why. And every day, like first I said, I was into ChatGPT. I was interested in it. I was thrilled and excited. But now I'm scared and anxious and anxious. What? Maybe not ChatGPT, but the, you know the influence of AI to our daily life, our society, mm -hmm. our econ economy, and so on can do. So mm -hmm. the topic is really, really interesting, I think, and uh, I'm sure, and I agree with what you said, what you have said, but uh, what you said that you know it's not, not everybody, uh, not everybody has heard about artificial intelligence, but it's going to shape our lives and i agree that it is a game changer and uh, like like a fourth industrial revolution wow those are really strong words so i guess we have to answer this then what is it what is chat gpt damien how can you explain it in the most simple way yeah. ima imaginable <laughs> i'm going to explain it very 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 simply and i but uh, it might be not very short explanation, but we in, in simple words, like for non-technical people. For dummies. So, <laughs> for dummies, yeah, like a chat GPT for dummies. And the, the disclaimer, I'm not an expert. Yes, this but we, are, we you, you may not be an expert, but we are definitely dummies. So <laughs> at least that part is correct. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, what is chat GPT? So basically there is many, AIs and there, there's been many AIs for ages, but child chat GPT, as I said before, seems to be a game changer for many reasons. Basically, at its core, chat GPT and the, the GPT, I don't know if you guys know, it stands for a generative, generative pre-trained transformer. Okay. That sounds, and, sounds like some, something from the Terminator. Um, yeah, yeah, like a tra the transformer <laughs> is a kind of artificial, like different kind of artificial intelligence, but it's a it's a type of artificial AI, the artificial intelligence system called a machine learning, mm -hmm. and basically it uh, learns, it is taught to generate human-like uh, text by studying. Wait, 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 hang, hang on, let, let me stop you there. So first of all, AI stands for artificial intelligence, right? So you are saying it is taught. So are you telling me that it's the humans that are teaching this program? Exactly. Ah, not, okay. Maybe not human, but it's taught by the vast amount of data. And in, in case of chat GPT, it's, it's basically text. Yeah, but this is collect, this is written, this data has been written and produced and created by humans, right? So yeah yeah like everything yeah. was on on everything was on the internet every book had what we every book which was ever written everything you know mm -hmm. and actually we we are going to talk about this later about how can uh, you know uh, english learners use chat gpt but i prompted chat gpt about ted stock from 2007 the name and the title and it will it expanded about the topic you know it was explain everything about the TED talk, you know, from which is not written, but it's scripted probably somewhere. And it has the artificial intelligence, chat GPT, or be, be not, ne, not chat GPT exactly because, because it's GPT and the chat GPT. Okay, let's not go into this. <laughs> okay, you've already lost me, Damien. I'm so yeah. sorry. <laughs> okay, so let's keep it simple. It's It learns to generate text, uh, human-like text, texts by studying a vast amount of written data. Mm. In simple terms, for someone who is interested, what is machine learning? And I don't really know the details, but it's like a, when you show your kid, you know, two-year-old kid, the picture of a dog, okay? The, the kid doesn't know, doesn't know what the dog is, but you show mm -hmm. one picture, another one, and another one, and another one. And after this kind of pre-training, the kid can distinguish the difference between the dog and a cat. Yeah, like we show the cat. Yeah. First, maybe the first answer would be, okay, it's a cat for your kid, but you say, no, it's a dog. So this is how machine learning works. It's like a first pre-trained, 
you load and load your 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 how to feed the AI uh, the 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 um, the, the intelligence AI, AI model, let's say, with a loads of information, and then you, it's called fine tuning. You fine tune mm -hmm. the, the the artificial intelligence, and basically how how it works. And there are a couple of terms uh, related to Chat GPT. Mm -hmm. It's a as I said, it's a transformer, so it's like a specific type of deep learning related to like texts and images, something like this. And it's unsupervised learning as well. Unsupervised. So it, unsupervised. Hang on a minute. That, that, that sounds dangerous if you ask me. Yeah, okay. No, so no, if no. Something, no. Something, if something, if kids, if no. we... Let me finish. Unsupervised okay. means when you show your kid the dog and you say you there is a label, okay? It's a dog. Mm -hmm. You show yeah. something as a, let, that's animal and something. And, you know, so there are the labels for this pictures let's say yes, yes but in in case of chat gpt or gpt in general there are no labels so the model is fed with the as i said vast amount like incredible amount of information and then it learns the patterns you know mm -hmm. it learns the patterns and in uh, kind of statistic statistical mm -hmm. way it predicts the next word if you are if you, if you have a prompt the 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 chat gpt predicts like statistically mm -hmm. the the word the the next word and there is a another important thing i forgot what was that it was a in transformer the attention yeah so there is in the in the in the model the attention to a certain word it's being built okay so you know the the it can predict it better. So this is why this is a game changer because it can you know it can create like a human human text and you are unable to Correct. distinguish between Correct. human and machine. Wow, this is this is madness. So when you say it predicts, now you don't mean as in it predicts future it predicts no. the, pat the patterns the pattern yeah the next yes. let's, the, the mm. example was the example i had an example somewhere uh, uh okay i'm going to uh, how do you say i'm going to walk my and you know based on the statistic it's i got me to walk my dog not elephant if this elephant <laughs> the fine tuning it's going to be you know it's going to it's going to the you know someone the Probably yeah. the you know person is going to say to Chat GPT is wrong. I mean, it's very simple explanation, but there's a lot, loads of parameters yeah. built in this you know in this uh, machine learning model. Absolutely. And Absolutely. as a uh, uh, as a how do you say something interesting? What I came uh, what I came across today when I was reading about AI and Chat GPT in particular was that chat gpt passed turing test and turing test is a test uh, uh, to distinguish a computer is a is a test when a computer and a human are asked the question to determine which is human <laughs> what say that again in the turing <laughs> test a computer and the yeah. and the human are asked the questions to determine which is human in the computer is if and if the computer is distinguishable yeah mm -hmm. is different from the human and actually chat gpt passed this test <laughs> and human didn't and, sorry and the human didn't no no it, it actually actually means that it behaved it answered in a pattern as a human would do i see I and see. the question what, what, what if you what if you ask the human to take exactly the same test would a human be able to distinguish uh, which which of these texts was no, no, written no, okay, by so a robot, or which one was written by a human? Okay, the the judges, the judges, the people who assess the artificial, they assess the, they don't know if it's human being or if it's a machine. Yeah. And there are people who assess and they ask the questions. And the question might be: I have some questions written down. What is the mo what is your most memorable childhood event and how has the imp how and how has that impacted you today or this like the, the question would be, would might be difficult to answer for AIs five years ago mm -hmm. 
Hmm. Uh, describe why time flies like an arrow, but fruit flies like a banana. So these kind of weird questions, and based on these questions, the judges, the people, actual people, decide if it's human or machine. And mm -hmm. Chat GPT was, you know, was ranked, was, uh, you know, was uh, recognized as a human being I see. with, with well, its answer. So that's that, that's basically it. That's that's amazing. So so far, you have been trying to explain what Chat GPT is, and you. You are telling us that this is a device, uh, artificial intelligence that is able to learn or that is able to be taught. Exactly. But actually, it's also a tool that we can use now, us the humans, right? Yeah, from the anyone user, from the yeah from the user user point of view from on on the user end, we can use it like a the sky is the limit what we can do with Chat GPT. Especially if it's like a language-based kind of thing and the pattern recognition or stuff like this. So yeah, that's like you can't even you imagine. can't imagine what you can do with Chat GPT. Yes. Well, obviously, I have already used it here on this YouTube channel a few times here and there, but I was waiting for you to 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 tell us more because I know as you as someone who who has joined. Uh, the Achievers ch Chamber still relatively recently. I think it was like two months ago or so. Mm -hmm. uh, I know when you joined, you started telling us all these uh, little things, all these like let's yeah, say because... tips and tricks, things like did we didn't know. And I will be honest with you, I had I had tried it, yeah, prior to you joining, but after you gave us all those ideas, after you brought those ideas, brought them to the table, I have to say that. You influenced me a lot, actually, and I got a little bit more into it, and I started using it for my English lessons and also for the Achievers Chamber events a little bit to help me prepare uh, some of the events and 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 sometimes yeah. uh, here for for the YouTube channel and things like that. So I, I can see that it's... you're completely right that it's 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 such a such a huge unexplored uncharted territory. It's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's massive. Like, uh, what I would like to say to uh, as a response to what you what you said is like a it's all about how to prompt chat gpt okay okay and okay. i i went to this trap let's say when i said to chat gpt when i was like trying to uh, make my english better or my spanish yep. rewrite i was using the rewrite yeah like a lot and now now there are so, so hang on, just to stop you there, just to explain to, to the people who don't know what we're talking about, to prompt, what, what does it mean? Can you, can you, can you tell us what ask, it means? To ask, to ask. Yeah, the prompt is the uh, question to chat GPT. Prompt is a, is a question, yeah? Mm -hmm. And you can, you can, you, you have like a dull, dull sentence and you want to enrich it with nice words. So you say to chat GPT, rewrite, but uh, you can use so many prompts be, be yeah. instead of rewrite and there was i i've written an article a couple of days ago for like 31 prompts you can have your you know ai, AI uh into in, uh, you know ai conversation better or something mm -hmm. like this and so when you can... say so when you say 31 prompts what you mean you're, you're saying these are different questions yeah, like, but instead of you rewrite say... instead of you rewrite you can Paraphrase, reframe, yeah. expand, so explain, reinterpret, and stuff and so stuff like this. Essentially, if I if I put it in, in into simple words, you are giving ChatGPT instructions. You are yeah. giving it more some detailed, verbs. More you are giving it instructions. More detailed verbs instructions. usually. Exactly. Verbs. You you are giving it verbs, action verbs, Adjective. which which tell ChatGPT what yeah. adjectives. It it tells it what it should do. So one of them would be rewrite this text another one could be translated into this particular yeah. language and the next one could be make it sound more formal or make it funny or uh, include yeah, and the can... following idioms in in that text yeah or something like that exactly and you can actually elaborate about your your prompt and can be they can the prompt can can be like a not rewrite but 100 1000 words oh yeah and I was using Chat GPT to create prompt for another AI. And the Chat GPT, you know, you first I pre-trained 
based on article I found somewhere on the internet, I pre-trained chat GPT, but I want to he well, that, that I have him, but I want it to create a prompt for mid-journey. And you know, I said I want the uh, photo of a uh, sick woman and the prompt was like you know about the words like poignant and something like this and uh, you know and uh, another artificial intelligence based on these 1000 words created and that it was a uh, kind of technical stuff like uh, lenses the type of uh, the type of camera included in the prompt and you know hang on, and hang on, hang on. just let me stop you there again like you 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 you're very quick Too fast. Uh, I, no, you, I, I know what you're talking about because I know you and I've talked to you about this. So you mentioned this mid-journey, which is another artificial uh, intelligent software, yeah. or yeah. is it a software? It is a software kind of, right? Which is used to, to generate random pictures. images, or images, pictures, images, pictures, pictures based, yeah. based on images already available online, but uh, it takes... Yeah. Yeah. Images and prompts as well. Now right. you don't have to include image, yeah, but you you can you know you can you can ask you can prompt Mitch Jerry. I want the picture of nice tree in the middle of the lake, and then right, it right. generates the it's simple one. Yes, because I remember you once posted something in the achievers chamber. You left, yeah, you you you, you left a comment there with uh, with a photo of me actually in that. It was quite shocking what you did there. And what, what was it? What, what exactly no, was it? No, it wasn't you. It wasn't you. It was artificially uh, like a created photo. And I, I can't remember, but it was, I think, your face. And, you know, how you can combine two pictures. There was a jacket, yeah. retail store or something with the like a, with the clothes and yourself and how you look, how you will look in this jacket. Yeah. And also you can ask it, like, how would Zdenek look? How will Zdenek look 20 years later? Or... Or yeah. some, or, or or what would be a combination of Zdenek's face and Damien's face? You can ask it to, to create such things as well. So I think we have seen recently uh, this on on social media. You see a lot of images like this popping up yeah. every now and then. And exactly. uh, for example, you know I, I'm interested in football a lot, so I've seen a lot of weird images of football players. Maybe uh, what what they would look like uh, 30 years. 30 yeah, years later or something like crazy. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, crazy environment or crazy situations. Yes, exactly. Or oh, you have a football player who is associated with a certain club and then uh, you ask you ask this uh, mid-journey uh, to to dress him in yeah. your, in, in their rival club, which looks, exactly. which looks absolutely hilarious, of course. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, excellent. So, I think, I think we have a pretty good idea of what this chat GPT is, um, and um, so and it only you... took us, and it only took us half of our time, <laughs> right? And we we also have some comments. There's one comment from uh, not just one. There are several comments from Glady, and um, uh, Glady is um, talking to us from sunny Croatia, and um, and he is also. Uh, he is also uh, praising you, Damien, um, for being truly well versed in the intricacies of the AI world. Thank you, thank you, Vladi. I'm going to visit myself Croatia from two from second of uh, August for two okay. weeks. Excellent, excellent. Uh, basically, it's just an evolved version of the predict predictive writing we have on smartphones. Right, that's a good point. That's a good point. I think there have been some, let's say, um, hints in the past that something like this would come eventually. Right? Did yeah, you yeah, did you see exactly. it come in? Did you see it come in, Damien? Did you did you think this would happen? Yes, but not as early. Mm -hmm. but I was familiar with AI, and you know there were some there were some how to say consultants. Uh, you know, over the phone, and it was not as good as as now. It's like now it's crazy. Yeah. It's distinguishable between as I as we as we spoke before between the 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 person and uh, and uh, you know and the machine. So that's that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we can also mention that there are different versions of ChatGPT, and I believe the the latest one is paid. It's a paid version. And mm -hmm. I think it's ChatGPT three is the one that most people use. That's the free one. 
and uh, 2.5 is the free one it's mm -hmm. good but i'm not using it because uh, you are like lady i think you're like lady you you both use this latest yeah, version yeah. it's like a it's different story different story on the like a translation and every the, the kind of with languages asking the question it works fine but if you have a like you then like, like teaching english by role playing yes. so you can do the same with chat gpt you say to chat gpt you are a I don't know, you are a doctor in this hospital. I'm the new student from abroad and teach me medical stuff. And I'm going to ask questions and you are going to answer. And in the in the meantime, correct my English on the go. Hmm. And this is what I use on a daily basis when I learn like Spanish or something. Like uh, correct me on the go. So I say your English or Spanish is good, but you know, I found this <laughs> little mistake here because Chat GPT is very polite. Ah, okay, okay. So it encourages it's you as well. Like so, so there, there is there is an obvious question that I have to ask, Damien. Um, now that you say all this, is there even is there any need for teachers anymore? Do we still oh, need teachers? Yeah, we had a discussion before this. Yeah, that ChatGPT is going to change the world, the you know job automation and the workforce transformation and the education and you know. Mm -hmm. I think that there is, of course, a need for teachers, but we'll see how you know how how it's going to go. Because you know, I what I mentioned uh, before, it's like you know the the Chat GPT is a machine. It's not never, no, never, never, uh, never bored, never you know exhausted. Because are you are you know, suggesting are you suggesting that teachers are get bored and exhausted? Yes, yeah, they do. They, yeah, yeah, you're yeah, right. <laughs> Of course they so, do. So yeah. So but isn't I, that more fun? Isn't that more fun that we are emotional creatures that we are unpredictable? Exactly. Exactly. Isn't that's, that more that's, fun? that's what I that's what I was going to say. Like from my point of view, and from like a achievers chamber uh, experience, my achievers chamber experience. Okay, I know. Like I'm not about grammar vocabulary, and I'm a little bit about pronunciation, but I like human interaction. That's the most important thing for me when it goes because i'm not going to be i wanted i would love but i'm not going to be like a expert in english i'm not going to have my pronunciation top notch or something like this but i love interaction with people so that's the most important thing the second one is customiz customization so the you know the teacher as you said you you actually mentioned this today you know me so you know like what the, the stuff i want to talk about you know that i'm a Exuberant this is the word exuberant, yeah. Where and I talk a lot. I like to, you know, when I'm excited, I, I talk and I like to expand and elaborate about the topic. There are some, I know, ethics uh, and uh, different values. Teacher can, you know, play crucial uh, role in learning and transmitting, like a not trans transforming society. Even you know, you like. Uh, mm -hmm. Like maybe not uh, like, in, like uh, language teachers as well, but the teacher at school, yeah. Like, like, it's just in like, general. Like we're talking about values you pass on your students, especially yeah. if they're very young. Important values like eth eth ethics and principles of morality and things like that that are very very important, of course. Yeah. Um, so, you know. So. Uh, and you know, cre creative yeah. and crucial thinking. Yeah. And I came across it wasn't about teachers, but it relates to teachers as well it was about writers and i think and i i would say it go, it goes to programmers and teachers ai will turn i'm reading now ai will turn average teach average teachers into good teachers good mm -hmm. teachers into amazing ones mm -hmm. and amazing teachers into prolific ones but it will make bad teachers worse than before okay well let's and hope it's... let's hope i'm let's hope I'm a good teacher because other yeah, if, if I'm if I'm not a good teacher then I, I'm gonna be even worse. So, <laughs> well, it no. looks like it looks like I'm not so bad because Helen says she would be mad yeah. to swap me for an AI. Thank you, Helen. And, Thank and you. It's too. always encouraging to hear that, and it's also nice to have Matye, aka Matthews, another Achievers Chamber member here. He says I'm also here. It's good so to have, have you here. Big, thanks for, we got, thanks we for got leaving a, a comment. Crowd. <laughs> but yeah, we do. We do. A lot of people are watching live. This is fantastic, obviously. And uh, we have been mentioning the Achievers Chamber. Uh, let's have a little break. 
and I'm going to play you this. Hi, I'm Helen. I like the Achievers Chamber because it's a nice place where I can learn in a friendly and supportive atmosphere. For more information about the Achievers Chamber, go to teachersthenec.com. That's it. <laughs> nice ad. Yeah, well, hard work, hard work. <laughs> I have to thank all the people, by the way, who, who uh, let me uh, use these uh, their voice in these ads, you know? So it was all their ideas, by the way. I didn't tell them, do this, write this. <laughs> they did it on their own accord. <laughs> and hopefully, and it's a joke, of course, if you don't know me, and hopefully Zdenek is not going to use our voice to deepfake our... You know, deep fake. You know, deep fake us to say something we would never, we would never say. Well, today I've read an article that uh, Beatles are going to uh, record um, another album, The Beatles, because yeah. artificial intelligence will use their voice to do it. Exactly. So that's a good point you made there. I might be able to do that at some point, yes. I just need a lot of samples of your samples. voice. Yeah, of exactly. your voice and then I, I'll just use an AI tool uh, to, to make you say anything I want. <laughs> that's scary. That's scary. It is, it is scary. And that's one of the things I could ask you about. It may perhaps the last thing, and then we will get into the feedback. But, uh, but um, Damien, I've heard from the, the, the makers of the chat GPT it, themselves uh, as well as uh, someone like, what's his name? I forgot his name. This guy that always talks about Musk, uh, Elon Musk. Elon the, Musk. Elon yeah. Musk. Uh, concerns. I've heard some concerns about the future of, of yes. our planet and how, how much this so many, put, us, put us at risk. Yeah, so many concerns. And I'm going to keep it very quick. Okay, the first one was there was a couple of people who were responsible for ethic kind of sites of artificial intelligence in Google. And the one of the employees, Rose, uh, researchers working, believe that uh, artificial intelligence, Google artificial intelligence, achieve, there is a new word for me, sentience. Do you know this word? Yeah, sentience. Yeah, I think you've mentioned it before. Can you, can you tell us no. again what it is? S E N T I E N S E. S E N T I E N C S E. Sentience. I've heard it before. Someone has said it. Someone has used it somewhere. Not me, because it was first. Uh, so it means like maybe let's say self-awareness in like easy easy terms. Able able and, to experience feelings. Yeah, and it was and he was fired from Google. <laughs> So, okay, can, I, can you please? I was focusing on on actually uh, uh, finding this word. Can you can you please repeat the whole sentence again? Who who was fired for what? I said that the the chat another chatbot. I can't remember the name that ah. was created by Google. One of the AI researchers working on this chat or artificial intelligence believed it achieved sentience. Sentience. Ah. Okay, and it's and I was thinking about it. Okay, let's take like, let's take our religion beliefs, our soul kind of thing away. So our brain, what is our brain? It's like a bio, biological, chemical, and electrical kind of instrument. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, Helen might not agree, but uh, something <laughs> like this. And uh, we have neurons, and these uh, these networks are called neuron networks, and it's actually go trying to mimic how our brain works. So in certain, you know, there is, it's imaginable for me at least that it can achieve this kind of awareness, which is, oh my God, it well, is crazy. That, that's when we are in real danger, right? When that yeah. happens. So how, how, how can we prevent it from destroying our civilization? Because let's be honest, we kind of do deserve die out for for the stuff we have been doing that's, to, to, okay, to nature and that's know. the discussion for another because it's it's yeah it's a very vast topic and you know ethics are involved and different different kind of stuff but i actually 
to be you know to be quick i actually asked chat gpt about negative thing about chat gpt and artificial intelligence and he came up with 20 bullet points and i marked a couple of them job displacement mm -hmm. okay so there will be the, the all, all the kind we've related to automation privacy concerns because the these ai systems gather large amounts of data and we share on social media and everywhere else we share a lot of info about us then uh, algorithmic bias so the you know the ai models can uh, perpetuate or even amplify human biases so it's, it will be you know even worse security risk lack of transparent transparency dependence on technology that's another one and you know it, it's the, it's related to learning as well you know you can be over overwhelmed with chat gpt and so on so you can stop you can stop thinking actually i don't need to learn english i don't need to learn any, anything i'm going to ask it wasn't as easy with uh, with search engines but now with chat gpt you can receive a concise nice answer to your prompt easily yeah. you no know? so uh, what else potential for do do dehumanization dehumanization Dehumanization. Dehumanization. Dehumanization, yeah. Dehumanization, yeah. <laughs> Devaluation of human skills and so on, so on. Yeah, social manipulation. So Ch Chad GPT is aware of his, you know, negative and dark, gloomy side. Oh my goodness. So um this is getting depressing, Damien. <laughs> well, I, I'm not going to even talk about the things I was talking to my to my friends before this it's 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 like a it's easy it's easy for okay i'm yeah it's easy for an ai to actually overtake the world we are all like a, i was 10 years ago when i was watching a series in america the in the uh, in the american t like some series from states i was laughing that someone from the smartphone was you know steering the light in someone else's house mm. it's easy now we are like a like a, we have a washing machine that tells me sends me an info on like a smartphone app that the washing has been finished you know and like everything is connected to the internet so if someone can switch off your house and let's not uh, let's not talk about switching off the uh, the the whole cities and i remember this is what my uh, one of the guy i was talking to uh raised that do you remember die hard 2 when the terrorists took over the airport mm -hmm. it was like oh, it's, a, it's a film movie. right it's a film yes the okay. film the movie mm -hmm. with uh, bruce willis and they it was 1990 30 years ago so they were able to you know to create kind of uh, uh, uh they they were able to send the information to the pilot about that, you know, the, the level, the height of the of the uh, of the airport, you know, the how do you say the the runway? The, runway, yeah, runway wasn't different. So and and the the plane supposed to crash, and now the artificial intelligence can do it easily. And my many, many, but let's not talk about this dark well, side. It is dark, and uh, we have heard about these things in even TV shows like uh, Black Mirror. And lot of lot of TV shows and films basically have been predicting this. It's the science yeah. fiction genre, that's, and that's I've amazing. always been I've always been fascinated by it. And, and it never really seemed like it was realistic. Like often it goes a bit too far, like zombie zombies and and teleportation and things like that. But hang on a minute, yeah, a lot please. of this is already happening. Uh, Ma Ma Mateus says, as long as we can prevent machines from getting weapons. We should be fine. Matthews, okay, the quick answer, and I discussed this with, with one <laughs> of my friends. The, the some of the factories in states in the states are run by AI. So the AI can reprogram all the machines to you know to 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 create to made weapons. No, that's that's easy, that's an easy task. Whew. Damien. It might be one of the last feedbacks <laughs> I do here <laughs> as, as an English teacher because apparently apparently I might be rendered useless soon 
<laughs> so uh, let's would, let's enjoy. I wouldn't say so. I let's, wouldn't let's, say, we'll I'm, see. I'm exaggerating, but let's let's enjoy this while it lasts. So uh, here is my feedback as a human being, um, imperfect human being. <laughs> uh, where, where I'm I'm getting stressed about this. Where, what do I have to press? Present. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I can feel the. Pre I, can I scared feel the, you. I, sc I can. I yeah, I can. Pre I can feel the pressure already. You see, <laughs> it's happening. Okay, here it is. Here we go, listeners. Can you see it? So, you said today I spoke to a couple of people and they didn't hear about it. Um, you were referring. You yeah, you were referring to Chat GPT, and. I think it's you're describing their experience and you're not putting you're not putting any time frame to it. So yeah. they you probably heard. you probably want to use haven't heard about it. Mm -hmm. How do you pronounce this word? Uh, Game changer. Damien. Okay. Game changer. Um changer, changer, a change, changer. game changer. Mm -hmm. Game changer. Mm -hmm. There's actually this this Two, there are two diphthongs, the same diphthong twice. A, game, change, same. Gay, game, change, right? So game changer. Mm -hmm. Game changer. That's it. How about this one? Actually. Actually, that's good, yeah. Now, this is a classic one. Where is the stress on this word? Interesting. No. <laughs> oh, well. Interesting. That's it. The first syllable, yeah? Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh, this is a common mistake of very advanced learners as well. Uh, everything what's on the internet. By the way, I have heard this from some native speakers too, but I know 100%. And you can ask ChatGPT if you don't believe me. And I know some people do it, especially some Achievers Chamber members. They don't believe me. You can always check it. But... In... No, it's about this. It, it should be that. You see, even that. Uh, there's, oh, yeah, there's, yeah, yeah. Okay, there's, there's a suggestion no. here. Now, do you know why? This is a native speaker thing as well. Like they, they sometimes no, make this mistake too. Know. So basically, mm, there was supposed to be something added here. And this is an embedded a relative clause. This is supposed to be an embedded relative clause. A relative clause is a clause, a part of a sentence, which tells you something more about a noun. Yeah, And mm -hmm. in this case, it's, it's a pronoun, so to make it more complicated. But um, everything, and then you want to sort of uh, expand on that word or, or give more details about that, mm, elaborate on that. So you say everything that that's on the internet. This is, a, 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 mm -hmm. this is called uh, defining relative clause, you need, you need. There's no comma actually, Every, and and what is not a relative pronoun? You cannot use what in relative clauses, so that's the rule. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So even like things, what what were said is not, it's not correct either. Okay. Things that that were said, right? Worse, or, yeah. or ideas, what were presented. At the meeting, not right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to yeah. say ideas that were presented at the meeting. You get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Mm -hmm. um, okay, perfect. Now, you said that I think I believe you said that um, feed. You yeah, you use this verb to 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 say that um, it the this ChatGPT feeds from the. It's fed. the yeah, that would be the past participle from the verb to feed, but I think you were trying to use the yeah. infinitive. Uh, so what's the pronunciation? What's the difference between uh, this or this word in, yeah. in terms of its pronunciation? Feed, fit, mm -hmm. feed. So feed, feed. And F-I-T, you can add F-I-T. <laughs> is feet, feet, feet. So there's feed, feet. The same vowel, the long e, but you have to be careful uh, with the final with the final uh, sound. Okay. Uh, right. 
the model is now here here you made a mistake the model is yeah. fed or is fed. being feed or is being yeah. feed is being fed fed uh, you, because it's um, passive yeah so in fed. passive you, you need to use uh, past participle okay as something interesting what i came across today again it's not a finished sentence here but do you recognize this mistake I, 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 I don't know. Very, very is something interesting that I came across it, today. It's something that we have already dealt with here in this feedback. It's, it's the same mistake again. A vet I came across today. Okay. Exactly. Because again, mm -hmm. as hang on, there's some. Why, why did I write as a something? Is that what you said? You might have said it, or I may have accidentally uh, added that uh, indefinite article there. Anyway, it has to be that. Huh? Yeah. How do you pronounce this word again? Interesting. 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 Inter interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Now, the question might be difficult to explain five years ago. Mm. Well, I think you can improve this sentence. This is what I said? Is this what I said? I think, so. I think so. Well, we can check later. Yeah. But... I wouldn't worry about it too much. You know, even if you didn't say it, it's a good exercise to just, yeah, you know, uh, co correct difficult. mistakes. Might be difficult to have been explained. Uh, you know? You're overcomplicating yeah. it. No. To uh, explaining the question might, and now you have to do something about this B. Might have been. That's it, because you need to. Speak yeah, 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 yeah. Five years ago, might have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Exactly. So you're basically <clears throat> talking about some sort of poten possible past, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now this was a funny one. Yeah, yeah, that, you... yeah. You ask about something, and uh, and I said it, it it might have been difficult yeah. to explain five years ago, but now before of the you know the 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 better models, it's it's easier. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you pronounce this? Yellow fruit that everybody likes to eat so much. That flies. Uh, <laughs> banana. No. So how do you pronounce pronounce it? Okay. Banana. The stress ba falls stress. on the stress is on the second sea level. Banana. Much better. Now, what happens when the stress is on the second sea level? In in a lot of cases, the first vowel sound is actually what. I don't know, silent? And not almost silent. Yeah, it's very weak. And the weakest vowel sound, which, which is never stressed, is the most neutral one, is the schwa sound. Do you know what it is? I've heard about it, but I never wanted it's, to go into the details. <laughs> it's the uh sound. Uh, so okay. banana. banana. You want, you want banana. to say bana banana. 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 Mm -hmm. Banana. Okay. Very, very short. Like yeah, or yeah, banana. and it's never it's never stressed. So that's why you have words like afraid, ago, amazing, mm -hmm. yeah, banana. banana, yes, banana, mm -hmm. even computer, same thing. It's also a uh. right. You can actually elaborate about your prompt. I think I don't know if you can say about here, but I would. It's possible that this is acceptable, but I I think. Oh. Uh, on? Yeah, I think most people would say on. On, yeah. But it's possible no, that some people say no, about no, because no, it's, it's, topic, do, do, yeah. those two prepositions are pretty close. So it's possible that some people might say this, but I, I would go for on. Um, I like this word exuberant. So, uh, Damien, do you do you want to explain to us what it means, or shall I, I find uh, a defi definition? As I said, for us? as I said before. I know a lot of words. I heard a lot of words, and sometimes they sound nice. And the, and I, today I was thinking about it. I say exuberant. I thought it was like over obese or something because it sounds like no, exuberant. No. I know what it means now because I checked. It means that uh, uh, someone who likes to express his or her thoughts a lot, very you know, open person. In Polish, in Polish, it is vlevny, but uh, you might explain it better. So, I I believe. Uh, no, not I believe, but Cambridge Dic the Cambridge Dictionary says that it, it, it means very energetic. 
All right. And you you ex you use this adjective to describe people's behavior and sort of character. They exactly. are very ex you can say someone is exuberant. Yeah, energetic yeah. and lively, similar to lively. Mm -hmm. There's another word. Bo is it boisterous? Boisterous, I think. Similar word. This one. Okay. Uh, now this is this is something you taught us today. And. Uh, uh, yeah, and that's where I came across today as well. Mm -hmm. Sentient. Sentient. Sen accent, sentient. Accent. So th this one sentient. would be the noun, sentient. Yeah. Actually, actually, there are two ways to pronounce it as well. Either I sentient, know. sentient, or sentient. Sentient, yeah. And so you, 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 can, you can use it as a noun, and then, it's, then it means the quality of being able to experience feelings. So we were mm -hmm. talking about uh, how, how ChatGPT, if or any AI, if it reaches this point of satience, mm -hmm. or if it if it acquires satience, let's say, then we are all screwed, right? Yeah. And then if it becomes sentient, you could say, or sentient, which would be the adjective. Yeah, so exactly. the same the same word family. How do you pronounce this word? Uh, ethics or ethics? No, the second the second uh, ethics. The second ethics. one is Good, yeah. Ethics. Just, just be careful. This is th, so ethics. <laughs> ethics. Ethics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, econo you... it's economic, but ethic. No, okay. it's economics. Economics. Economic, but start with e, and here start with e. Ethics. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you don't say ethics. No, ethics yeah. for sure. Ethics. Yeah, ethical. We say. Yeah. Uh, how about this one? Privacy. That would be the American. Way of pronouncing it? How, do you know how Br privacy. British people say it? Mm -hmm. Privacy. Yeah. Yeah. Take your pick, everyone. Do you want to say privacy? Go for it. Do you prefer privacy? Um, yeah, it's up to you, really. I will not stand in your way, and neither will Damien, I'm sure. <laughs> I will not. <laughs> Excellent. But Chat GPT might. <laughs> you never know. Uh, Damien, how about this one? Bias. Uh, bias, bias, bias. bias. I, I, like fire, bias, yeah? bias. bias. fire, bias, mm -hmm. bias, yeah, mm -hmm. bias. All right, excellent. And um, it's easy for an AI to overtake the world. To overtake the world. Absolutely. All right, excellent, excellent job as always. Yeah. Thank, thank you so very I much for. I had prepared 10 pages and we only spoke about it. That's it. Yeah, nice. But, but I let you talk a lot, though, right? I you didn't, did. I didn't butt in much. <laughs> that was the yeah. plan. That was the plan. Uh, was... Thank you very much, Damien. It was it was a lot of fun. And absolutely, yeah. if, if you're if you're if you're um, uh, interested, we could explore this subject in more depth and, in the and future. Some others, some, some others as well. No. Yeah, no yeah. We we need to. We we, we like to. We take turns here with the students as well. Yeah. So obviously next time it will not be you, but I hope you will be back here uh, because I, I, it looks like you've got your fans. Your your first video was really popular. I don't know what you did. Like if you if if, if you um, hacked the I, I shared, or something, I, but... I, shared, I shared the video with my family. I have two oh, brothers my. and three two brothers and three sisters, and they all have families. I'm joking. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was probably I, something like that. Yeah. But... Very popular. Got a lot of comments and a lot of views. So um, I expect we, we, the, same, we the same, if not better, this time. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what's we'll going see, to we'll happen. See, we'll see. Yeah, thank okay. you very much. Thank you very much for inviting me. Thank you, everybody, for you know, uh, watching us and for mm -hmm. comments, nice comments. Absolutely. It's very, very appreciated. And see you next time with thank you, you. more interesting stuff. I could I couldn't do better I couldn't do it better than you, and those of you who are from the Achievers Chamber, don't forget that in about three minutes I might be two minutes late because I need a little break, but we are going to play some games because it's the speaking gaming and speaking event, so see you soon. I know, but I won't be joining today because you know I have to attend my kids now. There are there are some attend uh, attend to your kids. Attend, yeah, to my Two. kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, right. lovely. So, thank you very much, and see you next time, Zdenek and, and you. 
everybody who watch and who is going to watch and comment. Thanks. Bye. Bye, now. Bye everyone. Take, take care and don't forget to give us a like as well. Cheers. Exactly. Thumbs Bye. up.